Today we're going to be tearing out this old eyesore in front of my shop and replacing it with a totally new eyesore. This is an old internet satellite dish that I haven't used in years and I figured it's time to go. But I'm not going to I'm not going to throw out the bottom here. This is a piece of galvanized pipe that goes into the ground about three feet and it's encased in concrete. So I figured it would be really useful for something else. And I'm thinking flagpole. So the first thing we need to do is get rid of this top piece here. So let's take that off now. I'll put a free sign on it. Someone will pick it up. I hope they don't mind the bullet holes. Okay, for the uh, mast, I decided to go with two inch uh, galvanized conduit. It's an electrical conduit. And conduit's great because it's heavy duty and it lasts pretty much forever. And uh, it's fairly cheap too. Now I'm going to be putting up a 3x5 flag and they recommend anywhere from 15 to 20 feet. So I'm going to take this thing to the max and take it up to 20 feet. Okay, I got this flag here. And I'm uh, happy to see now that these are actually made in the United States. I have some other stuff in here too, other hardware. Of course, here's a pulley that will mount to the top of the pole. And they, uh, I call them tie-down anchors. They call it a rope cleat. Anyway, that'll go at the bottom. And I also got a couple of what looks like carabiners, but they're just uh, spring-loaded links. Use them for whatever chain. In this case, I'm going to be using them to attach the flag to the rope. All right, no flagpole is complete without some sort of ornamental thingy on top uh, to make it look, you know, more flagpole-ish. So, um, since I don't have the capability of carving out an eagle in the mill, at least not yet, uh, I decided to go with something more simple like this ball design. And usually see these on flagpoles too. They're either silver or gold, so I'll probably go with gold or I don't know, maybe even copper or something. I'm kind of partial to the metallic copper look. Uh, anyway, here's the, the design that I came up with, and you see where the smaller diameter, that will fit down inside the uh, metal conduit.
All right, the next part we have to do is figure out how much surface area is on this entire part. Uh, that way we can calculate the amps we need for anodizing. So, uh, I took this part right here, and being I don't know a whole lot of calculus, or hardly any at all for that matter, uh, what I did was I took this fairly sort of complex geometry, and I broke it down into fundamental sections. Like you got a, a sphere here, there's a cylinder, there's a big cone, and then we have to subtract a little cone right here. You have another shallow cylinder, and then a bigger cylinder. And when you add and subtract all these things together, you'll find out the total area of this part. So we're going to go ahead and do that here. And hopefully this doesn't turn into a huge catastrophe. Remember when you told your parents, I'm going to go work in an anodizing shop. What the hell do I need math for? Okay. Let's go anodize a part.
suppose I get these couple branches off here so the flag doesn't get tangled up on windy days like today. So uh, that was a piece of cake. So one down, one to go. And uh, this one here is a little bit more stubborn. Uh, it's must be some sort of weird ironwood or something. Boy, I sure wish I had my chainsaw right now, but uh, it's broken. So I, I found this pole saw here in my neighbor's garage while he's at work. So uh, this, this should work too. I'm thinking maybe if I saw it down halfway through this, I can just kind of rip this branch right off the trunk. So uh, let's give that a try. So you know, that's that's not working out too good. So uh, I just saw it down a little bit more, and I'm I'm sure I can just rip this thing right off the tree. It should be pretty simple, really. Uh, well, no, not quite, but I got loosened up there. So I think I just about got it now. So let's give this uh, one last heave ho, and uh, uh, you know what? I think I'll just uh, I think I'll just do this next year sometime.